My approach to songwriting has evolved through the years. I think that modern pop music has sort of changed the rules where if a song doesn't have a constant set of hooks going, it doesn't compete to the modern ear. So I tend to take a different approach now, which is I'll get up, I'll write the idea, I won't go super deep into the idea. And then once I've sort of amassed 15, 20 ideas, I go back and then cherry pick the ones that I'm really attracted to. The melody is always king in every song, and the music itself is sort of more supplemental to the melody. In essence, the melody itself produces the song, not the other way around. Lyrics for me are a different case. It's usually messing with stream of consciousness. I'm a firm believer that the sound of words is just as important as the actual word itself. So identifying a tonal range that works within the context of the song. And then once you have the tonal range, then trying to look for some words that are little portals into an emotional quality. I define a song as having a distinctive voice that is unlike any voice of any other song I've ever written. Even if it has similar chords and rhythms and stuff like that, there's something emotionally intrinsic in the architecture that gives me a particular feeling. There once was a period in my life where I had a pretty good sense of what I thought would be a single when I wrote the song. But now looking back, I also think it had a lot to do with, I was very much in the culture. I was in clubs all the time seeing bands. I was listening to what was on the radio. I was very connected to what was happening. So I had a sense of what would or could work within the culture. If you're trying to talk to a young songwriter about how they would approach songwriting, I think you really have to look at the great songwriters of the 20th century. Bob Dylan, John Lennon, Paul McCartney, you know, Leonard Cohen, Neil Young, Johnny Cash, and understand that they found something in the harmonic properties of an acoustic guitar and the way that would immediately translate into a picture in their mind that would translate to a song. Acoustic instruments at their best are their own little orchestra that you can translate through your own creativity. And you can always translate that from an acoustic version to an electric version to an electronic version. In essence, this thing will get you faster to the picture that you need in your mind to write a great song, I believe, than any other instrument can.